Hey y'all. Um I'm just going to start. So over the last, I don't know. So this is this is definitely like the second month. Um October I got sick and more than likely it was some new variant of strep which that lasted like a week and a half before I finally got an antibiotic to get rid of the sore throat. And then I had a cough that persisted and congestion for like another week and a half. So it had to be stripped in like a cold altogether at once, to be honest. And then Thanksgiving, I was feeling somewhat better than the next week, which was uh, the week before last was my son's birthday. And he got a cold somewhere, either at school or with family. And, of course, whenever he gets sick, I get sick. So, I've had a cold this past week. And I just was asking God, like, God, why all this stuff is happening to me? Why am I being persistently sick? Like, when I finally get better and feel like I'm back to normal, then boom, something else is happening. And... I realized God was dealing with me about something because what ends up happening is that I feel this overwhelming urge to spend the rest of the year every day reciting the serenity prayer and not like the abbreviated version, but the whole one. And so um, I've been doing that and I realized that God has continually been talking to me about how things are out of my control. And so I reflected on a lot of things from this year and just my entire life. Um, I've struggled to some degree with control. And I know a lot of my desire to control things and outcomes and narratives and situations is due to the traumas that I experienced growing up. But it just hit me like I can't control other people getting healed. I can't control other people's insecurities. I can't control how those people operate in their insecurities and how it um, is projected onto me. I can't control. Um, I can't control the weather. <laughs> ha ha! Today, me and my son were supposed to take family pictures, and it was forecast to rain, but I couldn't cancel it because. I saw the weather forecast on Friday and I tried to cancel or reschedule, but for whatever reason, it was too late and, but it wasn't like two full days beforehand. Nonetheless, went out there, did all this work this morning, doing my hair and all that to try to be presentable for these pictures. Of course, you know, I'm hopeful that we got some decent pictures But, you know, the bigger thing is I can't control the weather. And it just made me think about all these things that I've tried to control. I can't, you know, we can guide our children. We can, you know, instill values and morals in them, but we can't control them. We can't control the people we're dating or married to. Um, We can't control anyone, anyone but ourselves. And... We can't control what happens on our jobs. We can't control the the economy or the environment. We can't control any of that stuff. And for me, I have just been, over the years of my life, carrying the weights of everyone else. And I just got to a point, you know, burnout for this year for me was just like, I don't want to do anything I don't have to do. And like... If I do something for a person, it's because I genuinely love them. But I don't want to do anything I I don't have to do. And as I came to that epiphany, it was just like so freeing for me. It's crazy how um, as a result of trauma, sometimes we try to control things, try to so tightly grasp things. But all it does is ends up hurting us more. And making us feel away. So 
like I said, I've been reciting the serenity prayer daily. Um, and it's been so helpful to me. Like I found myself, I'll go to the bathroom to hide. Let me be real, to hide. Um, and I'll say it to myself because it's just like a constant reminder. Like the only thing I have the power to change are those things that I have the ability to change. Like I can change my diet. I can um, change my clothes. I can change my hair. I can only control those things about me, things in me or um, about me. Like I can't control the family I was born into. I can't control the things I inherited as a result of being in, born into certain families. Case an example, I can't control that I was born um, and I subsequently developed kidney problems, which were, which I later learned were something that were um, hereditary. I can't control that. And there have been so many things that have happened this year out of my control. And, you know, I found myself trying to combat those things, trying to, you know, do certain things to try to change the outcome. And as I've been reading that prayer, it's just been like a light bulb went off, so to speak, to just remind me like some things you genuinely can't control. Like I cannot, I cannot change my DNA. I cannot change my DNA. I cannot change, um, I cannot change any of the things that have happened in the past, but I can control me. I can do things and sow into my spirit, sow into my mind to make me become a better person and help to cultivate those things that will help to make me stronger and more mature and grow. But I can't control anything outside of that. I can control a person, a place, or a thing that's not attached to my body. And so I felt like I was supposed to share this because one, um, I'm praying right now to discern what my word for next year is supposed to be. And this has been like an eye-opening thing for me, like to just recognize, like there is so much that you can't control. And I think that's the reason that God led me to do the whole, my one word thing was for me to recognize that God is always operating in my life and that God can do miraculous things by me focusing on one word or one aspect of a way that God chooses to reveal himself to me. And I now understand that the contraction that I needed to do was not just a contraction of responsibilities, <coughs> excuse me, but it was also a contraction of me, like of how I saw myself or of what I felt like I had the power to do. And instead, it was a reminder of how big, how expansive God is. And, and in turn, expanding, causing an, an expansion of how I see God. Um, I found myself saying a lot, I, I wish there was more I could do in this situation, but the only thing I could do is pray. As if prayer by itself was a powerless thing to do. And it's just been, it's happened so many times, like in different situations as a reminder that there is so much that I can do just simply by praying. And I'm grateful right now because as I'm talking through this, I see what God was trying to teach me. Like I had to decrease, I had to contract. I had to contract the view I had of myself and the and what I thought that I was supposed to do when really those things that I felt I was supposed to do, my action was supposed to be to pray and let God do whatever that thing is. And so if you've dealt with some kind of trauma, regardless of what that trauma may have been, if you've dealt with some kind of um, loss or 
if you've dealt with anything that made you feel like the only way that you could regain your power was by controlling things or trying to control people, this is for you. You need to contract. You need to shrink what you think you're supposed to do and instead turn that thing over to God and let God do it. Your action, the biggest thing that you can do is open the door for God to come into that situation by you praying about it. Like I am praying about every area of my life, all of my relationships, everything that I, I feel I'm supposed to do. I've been praying about it because I felt so overwhelmed with all the things that I put on myself. But instead, the purpose was for me to shrink and to contract and to take responsibilities off of me so that way God could be in the right place in my life, but I could have the right view of God, that God is a big God. And the irony is that I have like this, this little artwork thing in my bathroom that says, don't tell your problem. Um, don't tell God how big your problem is. Tell your problem how big your God is. And I looked at it the other day and it's just like, I see it. It's a cliche to me, but now I get it because I've been in this slump from being sick and from all the other things that happened this year. And it was only for me to realize and to be reminded and to internalize that I can do what I have been graced and gifted to do in any situation. But above all of that, I have to pray and invite God into my into the, whatever the situation is so that one, God can give me wisdom on what my action, if any other action is necessary, should be. And then from there, I can trust God to do whatever he says and to stand on his word and to know that God is God and God can take care of it. So if you take anything from this, my hope is that you will recognize if you're like me, have experienced some kind of trauma, regardless of what it is, and you felt like the only way for you to take your power back in any situation was by trying to control things. The best and biggest thing that you can do is pray about it and give it to God because God can do anything. And God is only waiting for you to pray and turn it over to him so that he can fix it or um, give you a different perspective or whatever he chooses to do in regards to the situation that you're in, he can walk with you through it. He can encourage you, uplift you, give you grace, give you strength to endure, whatever the case may be. He can go alongside it with you and you can have him in the proper perspective. I The word for me, for this year was expansion. And it initially it was very scary because I thought it was going to be so much more responsibility that I was going to have. But instead, it was because I needed to expand how I saw God. I needed to put God in the right perspective. I don't have to have all the answers. I don't have to solve all the problems. I don't have to fix other people's stuff anymore. I just have to pray about it and act and do whatever God tells me to do, even if that's nothing, because nothing, doing nothing is an action as well. So I hope y'all have a great week. Um, I'm going to continue saying that whole serenity prayer and just trust what God wants to do with me in these last 21 days of this year. And whatever word he gives me for next year, I'm sure I'm going to have an aha moment just like this next year when it comes. But this was necessary. Being sick since October has sucked or sick to some degree since October has sucked. But it's really helped me to take a step back from everything to be able to see what God was trying to say to me. So have a good night, y'all. Bye.